Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills using these types of questions. So what we have here is that we are going to have to determine the orange area of the um, region shown for this particular problem. Now this one is going to be very similar to uh, the second problem that we have for our math skills where that one involved a rectangle, this one involves a square. So we're going to show a different way to go about this one, even though it is a square, it's a little bit different, but just the starting process will also be a little bit different to solve. Um, as I've been saying with these types of problems and these types of tests, that there are multiple different ways that you can start the problem, multiple different ways that you can um, flow through the problem to find your answer. I'm not showing um, a particular um, method because it may be the best, it may be the worst, maybe the longest, maybe the shortest method, just showing you that one method can be one of many different methods in order to solve here. So we are tasked with determining this orange region. Well, this orange region is a right triangle. So we need to determine side BC and side CE to, in order to get the area for this right triangle. Well, we are given some information here that ADEH is a straight line. We're given dimensions from D to E and from E to H. And we are also given dimensions of G to H, and we are told that ABD is a right triangle and EHG is also a right triangle, and the overall shape is a square, which will be nice and easy and make this problem a little bit faster. So since this line right here is a straight line, I can ratio a couple right triangles here in order to find out what FG actually is, because once I find what FG is, that's the side for BC, and that's also the side for CG. So I'm going to ratio this little right triangle right here of EHG and this larger one of DFH and using this hypotenuse side and this side at the bottom here. So we're just going to set those slopes equal to one another. So we would have 13 plus 7 all over whatever um, FG is plus the six for G to H. So this ratio right here takes care of what's shown in blue. And this will be equal to the smaller ratio of this triangle, which is just seven over six. So rearranging here for FG, we get 20 times six divided by seven and then subtract off six. And that gives us approximately 11.14 units of length for this FG right here, which just is also because it is a square, is this length over here from B to C of 11.14. And this entire length of FG is also that value of 11.14, since it is a square with four equal sides. So all sides are the 11.14. Now, since we have a right triangle right here, to get this CE, all I need is this dimension from E to G. Well, since I have the hypotenuse in this side over here at six, I can easily get this EG value. So EG is just going to be the square root of seven squared minus six squared, which gives me the square root of 13. So my dimension from C to E will just be my 11.14 subtracting off square root of 13, which you can always throw that in the decimal form if you need to, because all our answers here, we have a little bit of rounding differences. So this pops out to be 7.53 units in length. So the CE value right here is 7.53. So now that I have this side and CE side, well, I can just do my area of one half base times height for a right triangle. And that gives me one half times 11.14 times my height of 7.53 is equal to 41.94 square units, approximately. Of course, the answers will differ based upon how you rounded. So they're always gonna be roughly about the same if you did it a different method. It should be roughly about 41 or 41.9 to 42. So that's how you would solve this problem. And as I said, there are multiple different ways to go about it. This is just showing you one method, but obviously the shape being a square makes it much faster and much easier. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And if you want to, if you want to test your abilities even further, check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to our channel because it does help us out. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.